Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones, baby. Your anointing chosen ones. It gives people the chills when they're in your presence. You're God's ambassador. I need everybody to share this video. I need every chosen one to please stay tuned to the very end of this video because let me tell you what I finally realize when I go out in public. Once again, this message is just for the chosen ones. If you're not chosen, you're not going to understand a word I say. But one thing I realize, chosen ones, is when I go out into this world, you have to understand that this world is full of darkness. You have to understand when you go out into this world, it's going to be a lot of people that have been called by God. But a very few are chosen. And you have to understand every time I go to a restaurant, I might go to the beach. I might go to a church event. I might go to a picnic, family picnic. I might even go to a family reunion. I might go hang out with family, friends, or whatever the case may be. Let me tell you something. My anointing gives people the chills. Your anointing is so strong, chosen ones. When you come encounter with people, they get the chills when they're in front of you. You shining bright like a diamond. That's why that glow up is real. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say the glow up is real. Everybody not glowing like that. Everybody don't have the anointing like you, chosen ones. So you have to understand that it's your anointing that destroys these yokes that's around you. And I'm going to break it down when they say the anointing destroys every yoke. When you go around people and this anointing that God has given you, you have to understand that you're going to be surrounded around negative spirits. You are surrounded by demonic spirits, people that are dark, that are living in this world. They're sinning on a daily basis. They don't really believe in God. They've given up on life. You have to understand that when your spirit goes out into this real world, when you have lead, left your house and your spirit goes into this world, your spirit, guess what? It's going to be surrounded by negative spirits, demonic spirits everywhere. And your anointing is so strong on you. And when I mean that... Your anointing, it don't have nothing to do with like, let me say like how you look. Your anointing don't have nothing to do with what, how you look. Your anointing is like, it's like, it's like the glow. Your anointing and the glow, it goes hand in hand. Right? But that anointing is so strong. Your glow is so strong. When you get around people, they got the chills. They know that you are something special. They know that you are sent by God. It is something special about you. People get nervous. Sometimes people, they drop stuff in front of me because my anointing is so powerful. I, I just went today to go get me a strawberry banana smoothie. And the smoothie tastes like water. And it tastes like no real smoothie, but the guy that was taking my order, he's fumbling the change and he can barely look at me in my eye and he can barely give me the money back because my anointing is so powerful. He hit me with the, hey, how you doing? I said, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed and highly favored. How are you? Oh, he really got the chills. He, oh, that's good, man. Well, what can I get you, man? It's because you are God's ambassador. You are different from the world, chosen ones. Let me tell you what it means to be God's ambassador. You are really sent by God. Not only to do God's will, but to relay messages to people all over the world that Jesus is coming back. You are God's ambassador. You are God's messenger. Think about Paul in the Bible. Paul was God's messenger. 
He went from Saul to Paul. Paul wasn't always perfect. Paul wasn't always Paul. Paul wasn't always knowledgeable and had a lot of wisdom. And you know what I'm saying? He was Saul before he was Paul. And that, 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 that just like me, I was the Saul before the Paul. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Before I came the chosen one, I've always been chosen. But before I was truly awakened by my spiritual vision and my calling, I was the Saul before the Paul. I was chosen. I had the glow. I had the anointing. But let me tell you something. I wasn't really spiritually awakened to my true calling, to my true vision, to my true purpose. Because I was living in the world, chosen ones. I was doing the worldly things, hanging out with worldly people. I can be the only one that's shining bright like a diamond, glowing up. And then everybody else around me will be dark. And I will still try to fit in. Until God snatched me on up out of there. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, God will snatch you. God will separate you from your enemies. God will separate you from people that is just not good for you. God will separate the light from the darkness. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, God will separate the light from the darkness. Because you are God's ambassador. God has some work for you that needs to be done. You wonder why people walking out on you, they betrayed you, they acting funny, they act weird when they in your presence. Because of the simple fact, everybody cannot go to where God is taking you. That's why he made you his ambassador. You have to draw all men unto him. You give people the chills, man. Sometimes we can just walk into a room without even saying a, a word and we just give people the chills. Our anointing just give people chills. They're not going to tell you that, but it's just something that you have to know at this chosen one. Something that you're going to feel. It's something that you're going to witness when you're out. Because there's not many like us chosen ones. Stay in your prayer closet. Stay seeking God face with the fullness of your heart. Stay humble. Stay glowing. I'm not going to sit up here and, and tell you to stay glowing and I'm not glowing. Look at me. I'm glowing. Because I'm seeking after God each and every day. I will seek his face. I love to pray to God. I love to cry out to God because my heart is so pure. And, and, and just to see what Jesus done for me and how Jesus died on the cross for my sins, man. I love that man so much. When I sing the passion of the Christ, I cried like a baby. Because they really beated him to a bloody pole. They really took away his life. But then again, he rose on the third day. With all power in his hands. So you have to understand, chosen ones, when you're out in public, when you're at a, a party or an event, church event, wherever you may be, family reunion, picnics, whatever it may be, concert, you have to know that your anointing gives people the chills. Your anointing is destroying yokes around you. Your anointing makes people intimidated. Your glow blinds people because you're so bright. You're the light of the world. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, I am the light of the world. This is why they hate you. This is why they wish that, that they were you. Your enemies wish that they were in your shoes. You're God's ambassador. And when you're God's ambassador, everybody not going to like you. Because you're God's favorite. You're God's messenger. You feel people's spirits. That's another thing about being God's ambassador. God gave his ambassadors the spirit of discernment. And when he gave us the spirit of discernment, chosen one, he gave it to us strong. I can dis discern people's spirits without them even saying anything to me because God gave me that gift. Everybody don't have the spirit of discernment. I feel all kind of spirits. You ain't got to say not one word to me. I know what you about because of your spirit. 
That's God giving me the gift of discernment. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, Lord, I thank you for the gift of discernment. Lord, I thank you for the spirit of the sermon. And Lord, I ask you that you would give it to me even stronger. When you pray in chosen ones, you want to ask God to give you the spirit of the sermon stronger than, than you have never, ever, ever felt it before in your life. Because the spirit of the sermon tells you to either talk to somebody or remove yourself from them. The spirit of the sermon, it pretty much, it's like, it's like, Telling you what people and who are who are people who are people really are and what they are about by their spirit. So I thank God for the spirit of the sermon because let me tell you something. When I was out there living in a world full of mess, I was vulnerable, I was gullerable. And even though I knew I, I had the gift of the sermon, I wasn't using it properly because I'm thinking everybody my friend. I'm thinking everybody got my back. This is when I was living in the world. But come to find out, ain't no love in the streets. Come to find out, ain't nobody going to do you like the Lord Jesus Christ. And come to find out, everybody don't have a genuine spirit. I'm thinking everybody was nice. Everybody was cool. Everybody going to have my back. People that were smelling my face, I thought they was going to be there for me. But their spirit was saying otherwise. See, people can tell you a bold faced lie right in your face. But since God gave you the spirit of the sermon strongly, you can read right through them like an x ray machine. Somebody can tell me something, and my spirit of the sermon is going to determine whether you lying or not. I done caught so many people up and they act because my spirit of discernment is so strong. When people come around me, guess what? They they get intimidated. They, oh, my day is good. And, and yours? Yeah. Good to see you. I mean, even when people see me on YouTube. I mean, when people see me in the real world and be like, hey, you on YouTube? And my spirit be like, you already know. I don't hide from nobody because I'm divinely protected by God. Hey, you Jordan the Chosen One on YouTube. Everybody's starting to see me now. But when people say, hey, you that guy on YouTube, I, I look right back at them like, yeah, it's me, man. We the Chosen Ones, baby. My spirit is still pure. I'm the same person when you see me out in the real world, when you see me out in the streets. I'm still the same person. My spirit is not going to change. You'd be surprised about other people's spirit when you when you see them or when you meet them. They're living in this world. That's why I say I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna keep you lifted in prayer. You know what I'm saying? You can make it because let me tell you something. Their spirit is not compatible with my spirit. But let me tell you something. God put me on this earth for a reason to be His ambassador. To draw more men unto him. If God tell me to go and talk to a person and pray for him, I will do just that. Because God really speaks to me. I need you to pray for him. This is what God be telling me, chose once. This lady just got, got through finish, you know, uh, in, in, in a bad relationship. She's going through it. She's going through a lot of uh, physical abuse in this relationship. I need you to pray for her. Without her even telling me, I can see it. God is revealing it to me. That's the spirit of discernment. Picking up on people's spirits. Discerning spirits around you. So you know what you're walking into. When you, it's like what I tell you, children. When you walk into a room, walk in there like God sent you. Walk in there prayed up. Walk in there anointed up. Walk in there with the glow up. Humble. Discerning spirits around you Because let me tell you something When people wake up Everybody not get on their bending knees And saying Lord I thank you Lord I praise you Lord I give you the glory Lord I give you the, the honor Lord I give you the praise Everybody not get on their bending knees Giving God the praise in the morning Everybody is not Asking God to renew their spirit Renew the right spirit within me Father God that's one thing you should pray for when you wake up. Lord, I need you to renew the right spirit within me right now. 
take away that old unclean spirit out of me and just renew that right spirit in me. The spirit that I need to be in me, a pleasant spirit, a calm spirit, a peaceful spirit. I need every chosen one to put in the comments below right now and say, Lord, renew the right spirit within me. Lord, make me whole again. That's the first thing you should pray for when you get on your bed and knees. Lord, I don't know what I dreamed about. Lord, I know I had a bad night, but Lord, it's going to be a better day today. Lord, I need you to renew the right spirit within me. Lord, I need your anointing. Lord, I need your glory. Lord, I need your, your, your love. I need your peace to fill me on up. Right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I need you to give me a strong spirit of discernment. Lord, I need you to walk with me. Lord, I need you to talk with me when I go out here into this world. Because these streets don't give a damn about you, chosen ones. You give people the chills, whether they like you or not. You give people the chills, whether they walked out on you or not. You give people the chills. People walk down on you because you're chosen. People talk about you because you're God's ambassador. People do all kind of shady shit to you because you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Don't you let nobody, and I mean nobody, I don't give a damn how long you know people. Don't you let nobody take away what you and God put together. Don't let nobody come in between what you and God have put together. Don't let nobody come between you and God renewing your spirit. Before you even say good morning to anybody, you say good morning to the most high first and foremost. Because he's the only one that's going to guide you through the day. He's the only one that's going to love you when you need love. He's the only one that's going to feed you when you're hungry. Give you water when you're thirsty. He's the only one that cares for you. So you have to understand your anointing is so powerful. People were dropping stuff in front of me. Barely want to speak to me. Because I'm God's ambassador. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because I am the chosen one. I need everybody to share this video right now. This is probably one of the best videos I ever put out in the WTC. Don't you let nobody stop your praise. Don't you let nobody stop your glow up. And don't you let nobody stop you from being the chosen one. Because being chosen is not a burden. Being chosen is a blessing. You are the light of the world, chosen ones. You are God's favorite. And people hate you because you got favor. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below right now and say, Lord, I thank you for favor. Favor, not fair. People can't stand you because you got favor. People hate you because you got favor. When you can walk into, let me tell you how good favor is. When you can walk into, because, you know, my car broke down yesterday, but thank God I'm back on. But when you can walk into an auto zone and the line is out the door. And even though I was walking into auto zone with my mechanic. Guess what? We didn't have to wait in no line. That's favor. When you got other cars that need to be worked on. But your mechanic going to work on yours first because he know you guys ambassador. That's favor. When there is no will, there is a way. God will make a way for you. God will provide for you when you're God's chosen vessel. He going to make sure you well taken care of. I promise you. Join the WTC Mentor Program. Five people just joined last night. Five. We got thousands and thousands of members that just joined the Mentor Program about at least three, four, five months ago. And the hits just keep coming. Thank God 
for the chosen vessels because it's a lot of people that I talk to on a daily basis. I'm a very busy, busy person, but it's a lot of chosen ones that I talk to in these mentoring programs. And it's a lot of people that are really gifted that I even know they were gifted like that. So if you sign up for my mentor program, all I need is just one hour of your time. One hour. We got 24 hours in a day. If you can just give Jordan the chosen one one hour, if you're going through anything, whatever you're going through, I promise you, God going to bring you out of it. God going to give me the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding to get you up out of it. If you're going through an abusive relationship, whatever it may be, a setback, you just got fired from your job, you don't know where your, your true calling is, you don't even know what your gift is, email me right now. If you really want to get to the next level, man, because I'm telling you right now, it's levels to this, man. I'm not just living for no reason. I'm not living to be just living in mediocre. I'm living so that my living won't be in vain. And, and then again, I want the best out of life. Amen. I want the best out of life. Email me Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Prayer request. If you got a prayer request, if your body rocking in pain, if you sick, I pray God for your healing power by his stripes, by his 39 stripes he took for our healing power. You are healed today in the name of Jesus. If you don't got nobody to talk to, nobody to vent to, you don't got no friends. I'm telling you, email me right now. All I need is one hour with you. And after that one hour, I promise you it's going to change your whole life. Be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my Cash App, and my PayPal. It will be in the description below. If God put it on your heart to give. If God put it on your heart to give, be a blessing. To all my 1111 Beginning believers, I need every chosen one to come at 11-11 right now. New beginners is on its way. I need everybody to come at 11-11 right now. When praises go up, blessings come down. When 11-11s go up, blessings come down. I need to see all kind of 11-11 comments up in here below right now. Because as many you put that 11-11 in, blessings are starting to come down for you. We got to start throwing away some old stuff, y'all. Throw away that old stuff, all that old baggage, and get ready for some new stuff. Get ready for your new beginnings. Old beginnings are all passed away. All former things are passed away. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say all former things are passed away. Get ready for your new beginnings. Get ready for that new thing God is about to give you. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation and if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in your boy. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.